All right, everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. In this video, I am going to go through the steps for creating a feedback rubric on an assignment. And I'm actually going to spice things up a little bit and show you how I use a spreadsheet to record my grades and then use the mail merge function in Microsoft Word to merge those grades with a grading rubric that I have previously set up and create a PDF that I can upload for one of my students. So I am going to pretend that my colleague here, Betsy Jardine, has submitted a podcasting assignment uh, for me. I have some examples of podcasting assignments that have already been submitted in another course and uh, I'm not going to bring that up for privacy reasons. I don't want to show any of my live students in a video like this, but I will show you how I've actually recorded the grade for them. So here's a sample grading spreadsheet, and I have added Betsy to this class as if she were one of my students. I also have a copy of the rubric open here uh, called demo rubric. I have not added in any of the mail merge functions to this yet. So I do want to add these in here so that I can then spit out a grade for Betsy. So my first step is to find my data source, which is going to be my, my grading spreadsheet. I've got a category here for everything that I want to grade Betsy on. And uh, I will come back to my rubric my demo rubric i will click on the mailings tab here on my toolbar select recipients and use an existing list i'm going to find my spreadsheet so here's my grading spreadsheet and i will select the tab in this case this sample assignment would be assignment two I now have the data source selected. I can now turn on or off all of my students. I'm gonna turn them all off for now, except for Betsy at the end. She is going to be my guinea pig for this demonstration. And I will add in the fields that I wanna demonstrate in my rubric. You'll see a little insert merge field button right here. So I can add in first name, space, last name, and now I come over here, find my different scores for my different categories. I have introductions, content, and delivery as my criteria for this podcasting assignment. So I will find my intro score, my content score, and my delivery score. So they will see the different criteria here to get different point levels, and they'll see a number over here under the score column so they can quickly see which, which criteria and which point value they've been awarded. I'm going to come down here to my overall score, my subtotal. I have a category, a field for that, and my total because the score here adds up to 10. The percentage is 15, so this is their adjusted score out of 15. And this is my favorite part. It saves me from typing up lots of comments multiple times. Again, I will add in their first name here. I'm going to add in my comments field from my spreadsheet and I'm going to save this template. I will now come back over to my grading spreadsheet and I'll give Betsy some grades. So I think I will give her a three out of three for her intro and a three out of four for her content and maybe a 2.5 out of three for her delivery. So she's got a score of 8.5 or respectable A and it converts to 12.75. And for our purposes, I'm just gonna copy paste some comments that I had for another student here. So I would paste them into this block right here. Now that I have added my comments for Betsy, I've finished grading her and I have a few other students who have already been graded. I am going to come back over to my Word file where I have previously added in all of my fields. I have saved this template, so I only need to set this up once. I can select any students who I have already graded. So I know, for example, I've graded Bethany and I've, I've graded Betsy. Once I've done that, I can hit preview and I toggle between my student and uh, the actual setup for this. 
So I don't want to show Beth, uh, Bethany. I want to show my grade for Betsy. If I hit preview, here's Betsy. She got a three, a three, a 2.5. Her total scores are down here and you can see it has pasted in all of her comments and it's even customized to hi Betsy. So it looks like I typed this up custom just for her. And I can hit merge to uh, finish a merge or merge to PDF. Finish and merge is one of my favorite functions. If you do your entire class set of 30 students and you've added them all to your spreadsheet, you come in here to your rubric, you select all of the students, you hit finish and merge um, and print your documents and you merge them all out to a PDF. It will in a matter of 60 seconds spit out 30 PDFs for you and then you can just upload them for your students. In this case, I have just one student so I can export this to a PDF and I will put Betsy's name on the end here. So I have a rubric now that I can upload for Betsy. It's got her grades, her score and her comments. Now that I have some feedback to provide to my sample student, I want to upload that feedback and uh, let them know that they have been graded and what their final score is. So to do that, I'm going to come back into Moodle. I'm going to come to my course. I'll start right from the beginning so that you can see how to get in here and do the grading. So I find my assignment. I see the grade or the view all submissions here. I like to go and use view all submissions because it's going to show me all of my students. You can organize these uh, however you want. I like to organize by first name because that's how I organize my spreadsheet. And Betsy is up here at the beginning. Now, if Betsy had submitted a file to me, you are going to see that file listed here on your right-hand side. You can just click on that and download it and, and uh, do your grading offline. Come back here when you're ready to grade. I click on the grade button. I give Betsy her grade out of 15. I can add some text comments here. But because I have created that PDF of the rubric, I simply take it. I find where I saved the rubric. So here's my demo for Betsy. I upload that. Hit save changes. You'll notice that there's a checkbox here for notify students. I hit save changes. The grade has been saved. And Betsy should now receive a notification that new feedback has been provided for her in Moodle.